police officers who have arrested other police officers. What's the story? My dad was the arresting officer of an undercover narcotics detective for the murder of two fellow officers. From what I remember the two officers and a technician caught him by surprise while he was stealing from an evidence room. He shot the two officers first and his firearm jammed so the technician escaped. Detective got life in prison and died there. Not a police officer but I worked as a contractor for a law enforcement digital evidence lab. There was a new guy who had just retired as a cop but came on because he wanted to do computer forensics and supposedly had some background in it. We were in training together learning about cell phone forensics when he missed a day of training. That night he was on the news because he had been arrested after cops closed in on him for soliciting texts or pictures from underage girls. We weren't part of the investigation but did send his work computer over to the lab that was working on it and he had PRN on it. Get a call one night about a domestic. Upon arrival. This woman was bleeding heavily from her face. Said her boyfriend was a cop and he was in the next room. We talked to him and he tells us to how she deserved it. Had to use force on him and get him in custody. Guy had close to 8 years on. Fired on the spot by Iad when they arrived. Him. I have no sympathy for women beaters. Locked up one for a DUI. Dude was passed out in his car at a red light. He worked for my department. I knew him but not too well. Came up to me and apologized a few months later which I didn't expect. I am a cop for a medium sized city PD. I have arrested two officers for Aoi, one from my department. I arrested an LT for domestic assault. And one more officer for retail fraud. Never faced any backlash. Wasn't fired or written up. Not me but an uncle. Arrested an officer from another city for drunk driving claiming to be the head of that city's police department. Head of the offending officer is my other uncle, first uncle's brother, who was actually sitting in my uncle's patrol car before the off-duty police officer was tagged. My cousin was local PD and told me a story about a fellow officer who was molesting his stepdaughter, 11 years old. They asked who was going to arrest him and all of the local PD officers refused. My cousin included. They had to call in the state police after the sheriff's department also refused to arrest. My cousin didn't understand my outrage at the story. Thank you to all you Leos who have done this. It serves no one to let cops get off free of punishment. More than once as a kid I'd be riding in the car with my dad. A Leo. And he'd be on his second six pack of the day. He'd get pulled over for weaving etc. Then nothing. Nothing. Dude was driving with three minors in the car. Drunk enough to get pulled over for it. And let go every time BC he was a Leo too. Still makes me mad. Edit. AWW. Thanks for the awards folks. My first time getting any. Thanks. But I'm an Aquarius. Not a police officer. But I'm a nurse and work and take at a county jail and I've mostly seen officers arrested for domestic violence and DUI. I also worked with a deputy who was arrested for human trafficking. Can't go into much detail but had to book an officer in for taking his female roommate's phone and sending her nudes to his own phone. He then threatened to leak them unless she did s all favors for him but she called it in instead. Edit. This really blew up for me so thank you kind soul for the silver. I would also like to apologize for spelling and grammar mistakes. It's definitely not my strongest subject. If both try to arrest the other at the same time is there a double arrest or a cancellation? I arrested 4 separate officers during my career. All 4 were SX crimes. To be fair special victims were my forte and internal investigations fell under my title so it just shook out that way. Not me but my brother. There have been a couple of DUIs that he's arrested other cops for. And a fine issued against a cop throwing a house party during lockdown. The most interesting, read. Stupid on the part of the other cop, was arresting a cop for assaulting a police officer. If you're a cop. Don't go to a club and get drunk enough to lamp your own sergeant in the face when he's on duty and there to break up the fight you are already in. It won't end well for you. 
saw the true crime video where this police officer killed his ex wife cause she was trying to divorce him and she had a really nice life insurance. He was struggling her hard with bills and apparently the crime split the whole police department up. People who thought he was guilty versus people who couldn't believe it and thought he wasn't guilty. In the end he was caught cause he was the only one who had keys to the car she drove and the police found a paper with calculations on it that were how much he would have left over after the life insurance money paid off his debts in his house. My husband arrested an officer that took in a runaway minor in exchange for s all favors. Dude was an officer placed at the kid's school. Kid was a missing teenage boy. Like 16 or 17? Cop was getting him drugs and alcohol. 2. Hubs was put on the missing person's case. Once the parents reported it him missing, he was supposed to have gone with friends for spring break. It was pretty fast. Like 2-3 days? All the kids friends knew. Cop had a party house for minors. Basically. Creep. I'm an actual cop so I'll give an answer. I've arrested 12 cops for DUI. Two of which included charges of possessing weapons while intoxicated. I've arrested one cop for writing a check on a closed account. Another for violating protection order during a very ugly divorce. I assisted the feds on a couple tax related arrests. I've also arrested a total of three cops for dereliction of duty. One of those cops was a cop who didn't arrest or conduct a DUI investigation after a crash involving another cop. All those cases proceeded in a similar fashion as other people with similar backgrounds criminal records would have with similar offenses. The slap on the wrist is actually very common and the norm with first time offenders. Also the things I've found cops arrested for are generally the same things other middle class blue collar workers get in trouble for. Issues with substance abuse, particularly alcohol, and financial problems. My career is perfectly fine. I've faced absolutely no negative repercussions from any of my peers. I'd say if you work for a large enough agency you've probably arrested or written a ticket to a cop. To all the police officers who are willing to rightfully arrest other police officers. One of the officers under me had a mental breakdown and shot his supervisor. It took three guys to take him down. Edit. The guy did survive. Domestic violence. Not much of a story. Pretty clear cut. Luckily it was a visiting family so not someone I knew. Other than that I once tackled a guy who had been fighting in a bar and threw cuffs on him only to find out later he was a cop. Should have known when he immediately put his hands behind his back when I told him to do so instead of fighting me as drunks tend to do. Detained but didn't arrest him because I didn't actually see him punch anyone and disorderly conduct has a lot of discretion involved, and I don't know who started it. Gave both parties the information needed to file charges against the other and a report was completed. Just a reminder that an arrest is not supposed to be a punishment. Being charged with a crime is the issue. I think DUI is the most common. I never did much traffic enforcement. Somewhat related. I was reading about how sometimes a wife will leave an abusive cop husband to go to a women's shelter. The problem is that the cops know all the shelters in their area. So sometimes they have to be sent to couple counties over under top secrecy. My story is about how my dad almost got arrested. In Australia after the Port Arthur shooting. Semi-automatic weapons were banned. The police had a buyback system. Where you could surrender your weapon for reimbursement. My dad was a cop at the time. And he asked his superior officer if he could take the stocks off the rifles. As many of them were valuable types of wood and he liked wood carving. He was granted permission and did so. Well some other cop trying to make a name for himself reported him for stealing semi-automatic weapon parts. My parents weren't allowed to leave the town for months as the proceedings went on. And they were ostracized by their friends and fellow officers. The superior officer denied giving permission to avoid trouble. And dad was brought before a judge. The judge took one look at the evidence. And said I was told this was about a police officer stealing semi-automatic weapon parts. And this is what we're here for? He was furious about the waste of time and dismissed the case immediately. So I guess the story of how a cop tried to arrest another cop for clout. 
My friend worked as a cop at a local city. He told us a story of how he was nearly arrested by a cop when he was a cop. He and three of his fellow officers were having a night of drunken antics related to a bachelor's party. At one point. While definitely intoxicated. His friend decided it was a good idea to throw a hot dog. Covered in mustard and ketchup. At a uniformed officer. From a neighboring town. Direct hit to the back of the head. Everyone was silent for a second. Then the officer came over and started angrily talking to them. None of them could keep their composure because. Well. The alcohol. And the fact that condiments were dripping down this cop's neck as he spoke. Needless to say they were thrown in the drunk tank but never formally charged. This sounds like shenanigans from super troopers. DUI we. I'm not an officer but the police officer that worked at my high school then was arrested by his buddies. He was messaging and trying to meet up with an underage boy for SX. Of course he arranged for a time and place to meet up. Got busted by his pals. Had his picture blasted all over the news and at the high school. My cousin works as a MP in Coast Springs. She arrested 5 other MPS for running a drug smuggling operation using dead solidus from Afghanistan to smuggle back opiates from the poppy fields. They add up. They bought a bunch of nice cars and houses on an MP salary. All told. Instant operation. 5 MPs. 15 MN. And a half bird call. The second highest ranking guy in my department ended up having loads of child pornography and had been as sorely assaulting his minor daughter for years. She disclosed and we passed it to our state investigators so he couldn't claim a conflict. We took him into custody at his house. He just got sentenced this year. That guy. LAPD off duty officer pulls up next to a black man and starts racially harassing him car to car. Second guy starts returning the insults. First guy pulls his gun. Second guy pulls his gun and shoots first. Killing the first guy. Second guy was LAPD also. Undercover and also off duty. Also LA. Count sheriffs were notorious for seriously abusing prisoners in the jails. FBI finally decides to do an investigation and inserts an informant into the jail system. Sheriff's deputies figure it out and disappear the prisoner into the vast gulag that is the LA prison system. And two senior deputies go to the house of the FBI supervisory special agent in charge of the whole investigation and tell her to back off or else. She doesn't back off. Investigation found a lot of crime and corruption by lax. Such that the actual Los Angeles count sheriff. Lee Backer. Ended up in prison for a long term. Such that he will probably die there. He appealed to be freed because reasons and the judge said NFW you serve the whole term and if you die inside too bad. Not me. But my father had to arrest his boss for drunk driving. Knew a cop who was a real active guy. Friendly and helpful to the community at large. Anyway he left state police for county sheriff and started down a wrong path. So much so. That his fellow officers ran a sting on him with city police and busted him for selling license plate driver's ID information to some of the local gang leaders. I guess the gang leaders didn't like him either because they tipped off the cops about this dude before the cops had fully gathered enough evidence to go after him themselves. I'm not sure if he's still in prison or not but he definitely got time there and I believe his quote when he realized he was stung was you can take the hood out of the boy. Not a police officer but read about a female officer who wrote a ticket to a fellow officer for speeding. Not signaling and I think falsely using his emergency lights. After that the entire department harassed her and she was sent death notes. Was stalked and I don't remember but I think she was pretty much forced to quit by her fellow officers. Sad. Officer here. I had to arrest my partner and book him. Wasn't told why. Found out later he didn't use a serious tag when asking a serious question. I tried to. But was almost killed for the effort. I settled on taking in the evidence against him and letting the chips fall where they may. Unfortunately he was killed later that night serving a high risk warrant. Thank you. I was sorely assaulted by a retired police officer and no one helped me when I spoke up. 
I was actually punished for speaking. Still am. I had to relocate to get away. Gonna call it before reading anything. DUI. As far as AI's can AE. Not a cop. But my ex-wife was an MP in the army. She had to arrest her platoon sergeant, her direct supervisor, for DV once. She arrested countless officers for everything from shoplifting to manslaughter and everything in between. Driving a police car in central London on a busy Friday evening. I see a car parked inside a bookshop having driven in through the display window. I jump out and I am confronted by a very drunk and angry driver. I told him that I was going to administer a alcohol test to which he told me to off and took a swing at me. He ended up handcuffed and on the floor. He looks at me and says. I am in the job. Couldn't you let me go mate? Police officers that arrest police officers do not remain police officers. A police officer I am close to arrested another for drunk driving and is still an officer. He said that they swear an oath to protect citizens and uphold the law. As a teacher. I was always a mandatory reporter for suspected child abuse. I once had to report on the child of a police officer. It was one of the scarier things I'd ever had to do. I found out that the police department automatically refers such cases to their own internal affairs division. Apparently. They don't mess around in these situations. Got a call of a taxi passenger handling a gun. No robbery. Just a backseat head who wouldn't stop when asked by the driver. Driver dropped him at a hotel. I get a team together and we poke around the hotel. Head is found in a hallway slumped drunk on the floor with his. 45 next to him. We get his gun and discover he's a cop from a coastal city about an hour away. He was in town for, it was almost too good to be true, a cop convention. Arrested him and made sure to call his chief in the morning. Not me. But a friend. A police officer was catching lost pet cats as well as presumably strays and taking them to the cemetery to shoot them. The station did not log officer bullets fired. And this was all within the last year. Insanity. Hands up. I'm a cop. No you put your hands up because I'm a cop. I read this as police officers who have arrested other police officers. What's your salary? I'm not a cop but my dad is. He wasn't the arresting officer in this story but apparently a co-worker of his was arrested for domestic violence, DV. His wife was a dispatcher and this dumbass goes to her work. Asks to talk to her outside where there's cameras. They get into an argument and he beats her. Right there. In front of all those cameras. Pretty open shut case. Probably not too exciting but arrested a fellow Leo for knocking his kid out during an argument. Misdemeanor child abuse charges. I know Popo. But there's a number of videos on YouTube of officers arresting other officers. They're almost all DUIs as far as I've seen. The arresting officers also usually keep mentioning that because of X, usually body camera, or someone called it in, their hands are tied. Really makes you wonder what would happen if there weren't body cams. That just seems like the easiest cop out in a situation like that. Pretty much every arrest ever where everyone is being called the cop is blaming the actual arrest on someone else. That's not to say cops wouldn't ever let each other go. Just that the anecdotal evidence you have is an on duty officer attempting to defuse the situation. Cops lie. All the time. Could be a shakedown to get info or it could be them trying to calm things down. Good thing you didn't put a serious tag or you'd have zero responses.